Let's go. This is a short and uh, let's take a tour. Let's go. Let's go. Afro beats. Let's go. Let's go. This is a very sensitive and challenging period for Afrobeat. Apart from the fact that it has a very big competitor, which is Aman Piano, some of Nigerian artists has been painting Afrobeat negatively in front of the whole world recently, leaving us with a very big question. Will Afrobeat be able to stand the test of time? Before we come back to answer that question, let's quickly take a look at the most important part of Rema's speech during the just concluded Hades Award. Um, with this chance that we have, if we miss this chance, we will never have this chance again. Because our utilities, I mean, our institutions are failing slowly and slowly and slowly and it will affect us big time. This is our chance because we are not the first African genre to make it big. Oh. Reggae has done its own. Oh. You know? And there's a reason why we're doing what we're doing right now. But You can hear Rema loud and clearly saying that our institutions are failing. He also said that reggae was one time popular too in the whole world. Before we come back to this reggae, Let's quickly listen to what some of our Nigerian artists who are supposed to be gatekeepers of Afrobeat has been saying during their recent interviews. I wouldn't call myself an Afrobeat artist to be honest. I'm just an artist from Africa. So Fireboy said that he preferred to be called an African or Nigerian artist, that he is not an Afrobeat artist. Okay, let's also listen to what CK2 said in his own interview. You say you're the first emo Afrobeats artist. Absolutely. Chest. I love that. Not even like, well, you know, I mean, I haven't heard of anyone before. You just no, like, no, absolutely. He said I mean, I, I practically Chester. came up with the name emo Afrobeats. Right, okay. So, yeah. When next man start doing it, How's that gonna feel? I pioneered something and bye someone bye. else is doing it. That's pretty cool. CK also said that he preferred his own Jerry to be called Emo Afrobeat. In fact, it's like he thought that the fans did not hear him clearly. So he went back home, turned his ring light, and went on air to make them categorically understand what he meant. Are you also doing Afrofusion or pure Afrobeat? So CK, we hear you sir, we hear you loud and clearly. Anyway, that was not the main stroke that broke the camel's back. What really shocked everyone was when Bonaboy 2 said this in his recent interview with Apple Music. Not even experience because half of them, you know, yeah. 90% of them have almost no, ex no real life experiences that they can understand which is why you hear most of nigerian music or i'll say african music. i don't even know what to say afro beats as mm. people call it mm. <laughs> it's mostly about nothing <laughs> literally nothing there's no substance to it like there's like nobody's talking about anything it's just a great time bonaboy did not also de associated himself from afro beat he also spitted on Afrobeat, saying that Afrobeat has no substance. Well, he called his own genre Afrofusion. Talking about Afrofusion, the video too also had something to say about that. Can you articulate the difference to you okay. in Afropop and Afrobeat? Is there a difference? Like, I don't even call my music Afrobeat. I call mine Afro Afrofusion because it's just too different. The video said he's also an Afro Afrofusion artist. Well, the originator of Afrofusion is another big debate between Bonaboy and Davido. So all these artists are distancing themselves away from Afrobeat gradually. All of them, they are trying to be boss on their own, trying to be an originator of their own genre. Forgetting that Anogri, Anogri, now the tear shirt. Forgetting that the world is watching. In fact, we are just waiting for Whiskey now to say anything about Afrobeat. If mistakenly Whiskey said that he, his own sound is different from Afrobeat, that maybe it's Afro whatever, man, Oti Law, Afrobeat is gone. So this brings us back to what Rema said about reggae in the beginning of this video. Reggae was one time very popular in the whole world, but today we can see that nobody is even listening to any reggae artist again. Just the same way as Makosa 2. Back in the days, Makosa 2 was very popular, but today there's no artist that can come out to say that he's a Makosa artist. So do you think there will be a time when Afrobeat 2 will no longer be celebrated? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment box. 
and as you do guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button also you can turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop interesting topics like this you'll be among the first to get it and we'll also share our thoughts together please let me know what you think about afrobeat in the comment box and thank you for watching this video bye for now